Hello, it's Marco Matos, Chief for Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you how to bake displacement or height maps. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out, and also provides you with these really quick, simple tricks. So here's a quick mesh that I've created using Ant Landscape. There's a link in the description below on how to enable it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select our camera and Alt-R to reset the rotation, Alt-G to reset the location, and I'm just going to GZ and move it up. While we've got the camera selected, I'm going to come to the camera settings and change the type from perspective to orthographic. And I'm going to press numpad zero to go into camera. From here, I'm going to click on the renderer and go from EB to cycles and then click on the output and change the scale. So I want a uh, 2K texture, so 2048 by 2048. Now we can come back into the camera settings and change the orthographic scale and we can hold shift to move in at slower values. There we go. That's what we've got at the moment. I'm going to come up top and select the shading tab. From here, I'm going to right click on our mesh, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to add in a new material. Let us now delete the principal shader. I'm going to start off by doing shift A to add in a new node. And we're going to add in the geometry. Now I want to separate the X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to do shift A again and separate X, Y, and Z. The position into the vector. From here, I'm going to add in a color ramp and I'm going to get the Z and put it in the factor there. From here, shift A again, and let's add in an emission. And I'm going to plug color into color and strength into strength. And let's finish that up and connect everything together. So this is our mesh, and this is what it looks like in height. Now, if your mesh is a solid black color, the bottom of the mesh needs to be above the origin point. So for instance, if I come back into solid view, so if I press tab to go into edit mode, G, Z, and we'll move it up on the Z axis. And you can see that we start getting the information coming through. And now I've moved it a little bit too far. So I'm just going to go in side view, GZ, and let's just plop it like that. And there we go. That is our height. Now, how do we bake? We press numpad zero to go into camera view and F12 to render. And now we have our height or bump map. So let's now save the image. So it needs to be saved. And now let's test out if this works. I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to do shift A, add in a plane. From here, I'm going to go into edit mode, W, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. And while I'm here as well, I'm going to add in a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to change it from whatever that is to simple, give some extra subdivisions. From here, I'm going to create a new material. Let's drag out the material output. Shift A, search image texture. And let's now open our texture that we saved. From here, I'm going to shift A, search and displacement. And we're going to put the color into the height map, displace into displace. Nothing has happened. So let's come over into the materials, scroll down, expand settings. And we're going to change from bump only to displacement and bump. From here, I'm going to go from the material renderer to the viewport shading. And then we can see what we've just baked has now become our displacement map or height map. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and also provides you with these really quick, simple tricks.